On a rainy night in Connecticut, a predator arrives at this house decorated for Halloween. You want to show you around? But the trick is on him. At the end of the day, you showed up. After circling the house, you circled the house, you pulled in the driveway, you wanted her to get in the car with you, not even having met. That's a little creepy, I gotta tell you, Steve. I understand. And I did not bring any condoms with me. Well, that doesn't mean anything, really, does it? What else did you bring? Nothing. Just yourself? Yes. As you're about to see, Stephen Buchanan is lying. After I confront this predator, he leaves the kitchen and walks right into the arms of the police. Come on, Allie, come on back. Police department, they're from police. Yes, back. He's handcuffed and put into the back of an unmarked police car. Is a weapon in the car? Yes. Yeah, hey, guys, it's where it's is it? It's in the trunk. He's got his weapons are in the trunk. The cops search his trunk and make a shocking discovery. 40 caliber Glock. Along with the legally registered Glock semi-automatic, they find a knife, duct tape, a camera, and a pack of condoms. I first feared it was what cops commonly call a kill kit. I was blown away. I've seen, as you can imagine, a lot doing these investigations. But I've never seen a predator show up with what could have been a kill kit in his car. What do you think was gonna happen if there was really a girl there and she got in that vehicle? Nothing good. Buchanan was never charged in connection with the items found in his car, but he's now on a one-way trip to jail. I'm trying to keep it together for me, okay? I wanna be able to talk to you. Our dash cam shows him sobbing all the way to the station. <laughs> the car pulls into police headquarters. All right, Steven, trying to keep it together. Cannon, his face still soaked from his tears, isn't going to see daylight for a very long time. Take a seat. Crime Watch Daily was given rare access, so you can see the booking process up close. You have the right to not say anything about this offense or charges, and may remain silent. Anything you say or statements you make may be used against you. Buchanan, still bawling, uses a roll of toilet paper to wipe his eyes. Steve, why do you stand up? See where those footprints are? This time, instead of selfies, Buchanan is posing for a mugshot. He's fingerprinted and suddenly decides to confess. Steve, I'd like to talk to you some more. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd like to do it upstairs. And... Buchanan waves his right to remain silent, agreeing to talk to detectives. He's hauled into the interrogation room where he makes a startling admission. What is it that is so enticing to you about wanting to be this friendly with someone who is this age, you know? I mean, she, she did make it clear, and you were aware that she was, you know, 13 years old, right? Yes. And that was made pretty clear, too, and you believed that, right? Yes, sir. Something just flipped and switched in my brain, you know, and I never thought about, you know, the consequences. Before I went to the military, I was a normal person. And, you know, never, ever would ever have a thought about doing anything like this. Like what? Like you didn't have desires to what? Do like to, what? I don't want to put words in to, your mouth, so to, do what? to younger people. To be with Or meeting people. just random strangers off the internet or anything like that. My body is growing older, it's just, but my mind just... It's kind of still... It's not getting... It's still like a, like a young mind? Yes, sir. And it's just not... So know, it's it, taking time to, to mature to where I should be going towards a younger person is because they don't have you know the responsibilities the older person or me they have a lot of free time so it's just like the, where i could be sense. i could be with them and i could you know hanging out and just being able to talk and whatnot and you know in person and everything the sickness remember buchanan sent graphic texts about the sexual acts he wanted to do with a 13 year old girl when you say sexual, just give me an idea of what some of those sexual things, what does that uh, mean? Oral sex. Okay. Um, penetration. What kind of penetration? Uh, vaginal. And showering. Okay. And, you know, kissing and all, all that stuff. And you're not going to believe his excuse for carrying a gun. Why would you have brought that with you? Is that just do, do, I, do I, you I always, always carry it? I always carry it after, you know, the the Marines being shot and everything with ISIS and 
you know, threats to military people and whatnot. So I always carry it. The evidence against him is overwhelming, and Buchanan ultimately pleads guilty to three felony charges. Attempted second-degree sexual assault, attempted risk of injury to a minor, and attempting to entice a minor in an obscene act. He was never charged in connection with the gun police found in his trunk. What do you think would have happened if there was a real 13-year-old girl in that house? I think we, we can only surmise based upon what he indicated and what he had with him and the fact that he showed up. I mean, obviously, those things were in the car for something. And I think that that child would be at significant risk of serious bodily harm based upon what he had with him. The sentence, 10 years, suspended after he serves at least three years in prison. And he must register as a sex offender. We got a bad one off the streets, but there are still a lot more predators out there waiting to be caught.